Trial version. 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 Trial version.
Trial version. Trial version. Trial version. Trial version. Trial version. Trial version. Trial version. Trial version. Trial version. Trial version. Trial version. Trial version. Trial version. Give me a study cam today. Trial version. We do have some of you on YouTube can see the overhead too. We are in northern Michigan. Welcome from Georgia. Trial version. Is the Ford treated with anything? No, uh, I didn't have time. Here's the treatment right here. <laughs> It's the mop Trial with version. primer, latex primer. Uh, no, I, I like, you know, interestingly, what I do like, um, speaking of that, I like the, the, I usually try to find Trial version. a board that has a nice green pattern in it. And it's very absorbent. So. Trial version. Trial version. Trial version. Yeah. What's Hugo doing? <laughs> um. He's yelling at me to leave alone, but he's watching Go Dog Go, so... That's what I was asking, yeah. Do you think it's working now? Um, well, you have audio. Who was that? Who's the girl that wanted, or the, young, the woman that wanted to see me walk on my paintings? Bella, I'm not sure hey, she's Hey, Bella, are you here yet? Shout us hi, out. Version. Oh, hi, California. I don't know what's kicking the trial here, version. Actually. <laughs> I don't know either, because... This is actually really dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I can't find the stool. There it is. Okay, we I can't do that much more. Watching. There's just me every once in a while, but randomly there'll be like four other people oh. on Twitch. Oh, I think I hear Hugo back in your own. Um, I don't know what's causing this. Even when you mute everything? Yeah. No. <laughs> just mute okay. everything. Well, we got some blue up there. As usual with us, there's some technical issue somewhere. Because <laughs> yeah, everything's cabled. Hi from Norway. Alright, so we got a nice bit of gray. Let's stick that in there, the clean brush. Portland, Oregon. Here we go. 
Here, come here, Kristen. I need to get you uh, colored up a little bit. Later. <laughs> you could just end the stream as when the new start. Which which platform is that on? That's everybody else but Instagram. Okay, good. <laughs> then we're just gonna have to deal with it because. I have a bet. Is it recording us still? No, I uh -huh. I don't record anymore. My computer's too full. It's too full. Oh, this no. Is fun. Anybody else work on a large format with fun tools occasionally? And gets you out of your usual? Let's just go ahead. Get some texture here. Ooh, that's fun. Oh, it's E2 eSoft. I'll get it off of there. We're not even using it. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> Every week is something new. We she did test this earlier this week. Some of you actually jumped on and saw it, and then uh, I wasn't on there long enough to discover this problem. <laughs> so clearly, oh, more people from Norway. 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 Anybody following skiing over there? Cross country skiing. The World Cup. Claybo. Love it. And, Why are you uh, covering up the black scribbles? Oh. Well, a lot of times the scribbles are simply a way to get started, to loosen up. And so the thing is, as I build up some surface here, I can scrape away. In fact, I was just thinking of doing that <laughs> with the dustpan. <laughs> Instead, a lot of you guys know I use the metal scrapers a lot, and it's a lot more fun for me. I, I enjoy that a lot. But um, today, I'm, I wanted to have a restriction, and my restriction was working with this this play thing and so now I can scrape it away and reveal some of that although it's not as nice as the metal Several world champions today. yeah it's crazy awesome guys it's frustrating for us here because uh, we can watch it but there's no English <laughs> there's, commentators. Well, there's no announcer and I don't speak we don't speak right. though Sorry about that, but we don't. Well, I'm going to go back to being murdered by Hugo. Yeah, we're fine. Yeah, please. Thank you so much for your help. Yeah. Don't worry, you're not on screen. Love you. Love yeah. you. Yeah, tease. So you can see somebody that was asking about... Um, you can see underneath now we have the charcoal that's showing through. And that to me is pretty cool. And again, I don't really, I tried to have a plan for this today and I don't. And clearly the technology was a problem too. <laughs> yeah, so I'm not very helpful today. <laughs> uh, yeah, Claybo, man. He's Always amazing. All, all your whole team over there, the Norwegian team, is, is awe-inspiring. Truly, truly brilliant. So, everybody this year did well under the conditions, I thought. I thought everybody did a really great job. Huge fan. Can't wait to get back out skiing. Was it Simi's last race today? No. He's retiring? No, that was last year, wasn't it? No, he's retiring this year. I don't know. No. I've been following very well. Okay, now, now we have the uh, see what this does. Yeah, pretend scrub brush. I like this already. I could walk away and be done with it. <laughs> this is a very unusual way to, to do this. And it's very big, as you can see. So. There might be a lot of layers, Oops. and oh then gosh. I might uh, go back in and paint, do some detail work with the markers probably, because I'm sure this is going to be a multi-day weeks project to work on this. I like what happened here though, the black marks coming in the big swirl on this section. Oh, <laughs> This piece is looking strong early, somebody said. Oh, thanks. Sh I should stop now, then. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> you're, you're trying to juggle too many cameras again. 
You're good. You're good. I know you want to stream everywhere all at once, so everybody can be blessed with our goofy goofiness. But there you yeah, go. This is get up on the stool now. You're, you're moving that so much they might not be able to see it. So now I need to take a look at it because already we have a pretty strong, really strong um, piece, like they said. And sometimes the improvisational is, is so nice that you don't want to go further. It's hard to stop sometimes to do that. Um, look, I ran out of stuff. I wonder if I could do this for something. Oh yeah, look at that. That works nicely. I wonder what this will do. Oh, that's fun. Wasn't really planning on using this. Oh, I can't reach that far. fun so using that like a roller that's pretty interesting I wonder if I can do something with this I don't like that as well <laughs> it's kind of a painting in itself <laughs> so I'm gonna let I'm gonna let it set just for a minute while before I get I want the paint the paint to absorb in the ply into the plywood a little bit and again this is a quarter inch AC, it's it's a really high finished uh, birch plywood, and it's only a quarter inch. And the, I try to work thin unless I know it's a, like a commission piece, which I never do anymore. Um, and it's not mounted canvas either because those take up a ton of room, and I don't have a lot of room for storage. I, I mean, I'm blessed by the amount of space we do have here, and then the storage in the basement right next door. But I have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of paintings, and it's kind of hard to store them. So by doing it on the panel, when I am ready to show a collection, then we just simply have to mount or frame them on the, on the panel, and then they go out in, into the world and be free, like the living beings that they are. Uh, so that's one of the things we do. By the way, if you're enjoying the videos, if you watch watched this before and our silliness that we do, uh, please, feel, please, please give us a little support through buying us a, a piece of paper. And you can get there through our links and in Instagram real easily. I think there's a link on our website. Or you can go to buy me a, buy, wait a minute, I got it. No, I, I got it right here. Down. I wrote it down over here. <laughs> oh, there it is. Buymeacoffee.com backslash David dot Austin. There we go. They point out I printed it and it's in red and it's big. So I had to announce And he it. told me I don't need that. I'm not talking to you right now. <laughs> I did bring a rag to Oh look, coffee. It's almost cold, it's perfect. Yuck. I'm this is one of the areas we definitely differ. I like my coffee a lot hotter. I don't like coffee hot anything. I don't like freezing cold anything. Alright, so it's scrape it down. Trying to. Now, there are definitely some inherent um, limits to this technology <laughs> that we're using. <laughs> so you can mix on a board to back and forth to create grays or other colors. And I don't know if anybody does a lot of that, but if you if you want to bring down an area, you can do mix right there on the board. And that can be a very interesting process. Can't hardly reach the top. If I was working on my own, I'd be over on the other side too, jumping and running around the outside of this thing. Not to interrupt the magic, but do you have a piece of tape? Because this cord is right in the way. You can't, oh, 
I don't have one handy. All right, never mind. But I have some over there. Maybe I can wedge it. Okay, so now, now I'm gonna have to start over. White it all out. She interrupted me. Oh. <laughs> I can try to get a piece of tape. I got our green painter's mate tape. So I want to know if anyone else is painting today. Did anybody actually get the notification about? I didn't even send the email because oh, I couldn't get email? the stupid domain verified. I'm having so many issues this week, people. I can't even. <laughs> this was a week of much prayer. <laughs> so that's cool. It's kind of fun. We got some overlaps happening. We got previous layers coming up through. But you can see what I was talking about with the the wood, the exposed wood on the background showing through. Now you could paint the background, like I would use to take a, like a hot orange or something and paint the background and then paint over the top and then we were scraffiting, scraffito through it or, or scraping through it, you would get the orange coming up through it. So there's different ways you can do it. Or in this case, I've left it exposed. So now I can go back in with a wash later or watercolors even and it'll soak into that, into that background. So now, um, I kind of like the color where it is, but I feel we need a pop. And I've either got bright, bright, bright yellow, bright yellow from a can that's rusting apart. <laughs> Look at that specialness. <laughs> or I've got a bright green. So let's take a vote right now. We got the bright green, everybody. Bright green. To go next. Or do we go safety yellow? It literally says safety yellow on the can. Safety dance. You can dance if you want. Oh, she's she's definitely needing a break. Leave <laughs> your friends behind. <laughs> Name the group. Oh no! They also did the Casbah song. I don't know. I don't remember. Someone out there will know. I've got a vote for yellow, a vote for green, a vote for yellow. Oh, it's 50-50 so far, almost. Yellow again. Yellow's win. Yellow again. Yellow winning. I think yellow's winning. All right, so we're gonna. Tom highlight. Tucker. Hi, Tom again. He hey, says Tom. both. He's in the in the group, right? Yep. The club. So that's one of the other things we have now, um, particularly for those that are just getting going. You know, Instagram and all these other different platforms can be kind of aggressive. Are you holding that, or are they just getting jerked all over the place? I'm holding it. What do you mean? Am I holding it? it? It's. I'm watching it move like a pendulum up there. <laughs> that's why I think maybe next time we'll have to figure I out. I can't. Another, we'll with figure the... another way to shoot this. This this was a challenge today because. It's so big. And again, I'm letting it set a little bit. I'm absorbing it as I'm talking to you, trying to just think it through. But anyway, um, the social platforms can be kind of cruel, especially if you're just starting out, but you want feedback from other artists and you want, you know, constructive criticism. How do you grow? And we were seeing a need for this, you know, and, and I, I got a pretty thick skin at this point. I've been doing this a long, long time. And, but a, a lot of you, you know, maybe aren't uh, able to deal with that yet or you don't want to deal with that yet so we started uh, a new kind of private community it has its own app it's called spark dot create inspiration dot club it's also the url that's the yeah so anyway it's the create inspiration and we, it's it's pretty cool we're, we're growing that it's invitation only we moderate it and there's stuff falling behind me so that's that's pretty cool. Check that out. The link uh, will be around somewhere. Kristen has it somewhere. You just said it. I'll do, yeah, but I mean it'll be written out somewhere probably. Oh yeah. Okay. Is it yellow still? Yep. Okay. And, and buy us a cup of coffee too. It's actually a piece of paper when you do it. Support the videos because then we can get better equipment. So Kristen doesn't go like this with the camera. I can't afford a gimbal, people. Okay. <laughs> you get what you get. I'm working for peanuts and coffee, so. You wait, you get peanuts? That's more than I'm getting. Actually, it's those really delicious almonds. <laughs> Marcona almonds. If anybody hasn't had those yet, you're missing out. Everybody still hip on the yellow? So far. Or should we do change that to something else? The Hugo Nader wants outside, it appears. Well, that's a challenge. This needs dressing. Up. Luck has me. Oh, thanks, life, liberty, and happiness. She says I'm doing a good job. <laughs> <laughs> What's the paint you're using? Right now, this is cheap house paint. It's high gloss enamel, acrylic latex. All this is acrylic latex. I don't work in oils. 
Uh, I just don't have the room to deal with it. Um, it's just too much to deal with. I've dirtied all of my other um, pans here, so to speak. I'm going to pour it in here, and then I'm going to... Esmond, if you're still watching on Twitch, go ahead and take him outside. So I don't want to, sometimes I don't want to overdo all the colors. I just want to add a little bit here and there on a piece like this because it can get really chaotic in a really big hurry. And it's so easy, it's really easy for me to, to do that because I love the process. I love the process of the painting, okay? And for me, that process often leads to paintings that I've gone too far. That's a problem for me. Going nice strong. I don't have any of my stuff. He's also no longer wants to. Okay. You guys are getting intimate views into our life. Today. <laughs> but that's kind of what it's about. You know, we're we're exposing ourselves, but really, because a lot of artists, this is really awkward to do. We don't really want to do that. Uh, I'm I'm an introvert by nature and um, it's hard to it's hard to make ourselves out there. Hi Marlena, hi Beat Trip, hi Art Duffy, Orange Da uh, let's see Kimpa ninety nine, Ulrik and Bakes Asp. I, I can't pronounce that one. Some of you that follow us know her trauma. I think some of these words were never meant to be said out loud. I think that they're handles is my, my defense here. <laughs> That's funny. I'm tripping over the thing. But hey, I'll have you know I put felt on it, see? It doesn't go Yah! all the time. Okay. So again, this is a process the, as we've gotten into it. You know, how far do I push these things before we go too far, right? And I like the green. Uh, the yellow was a good idea, but once it went on the canvas, on the board rather, um, I realized that I, I wanted to do something a little different. So I'm just going to do a little spot along here. Whoa, that's a big spot. Okay, well, that was a bigger spot than I intended. It's a really controlled environment in here today. <laughs> we have fun though, right? I believe that that's German that come through. I don't speak it, I'm sorry. Can anybody translate what just came through from um, 7724? If it's nice. As long as I'm all swear we... Yeah, family friendly people. <laughs> that's the thing that we've been striving for. Is family friend friendly situation. Uh, because it's important for all of us to feel safe to create create without fear hashtag hashtag create without fear yeah Use everybody it. start using that one we've been using it this last week um, I think it's, it's really important to me I think a lot of people in school get discouraged from creating because they don't they can't draw or in the traditional sense but it doesn't mean that the process is any less value Oh, that's definitely not German. Is that Turkish? Could be. Yeah. Now that I'm not side eyeing it through the corner of my eye. Watch the overhang. <laughs> we were setting up a webcam and I hit that thing so damn hard. Excuse me, I just swore. I said I wasn't going to swear. I opened my head up, actually. So that's why this is all. Quite the gash. We almost super glued it shut. Yeah. I was down for a whole day. <clears throat> it's fun. I know that the webcam only shows a section of it. Sorry, we, we haven't figured out how to show the full painting surface. Well, we yet. do. I need another webcam. Well, it's a pretty simple solution, actually. We can can we have two webcams going at the same time? I can have seven cameras hooked up to this ca this oh. laptop, actually. Hi, what? Sandra, Tommy, and Nornoff. What you doing over here? trying to mess with you by getting off camera. 
Italian. We deliberately go over here in the corner. Never work with children, dogs, or artists. <laughs> or they say your husband or wife. But we have a good time. <laughs> we, we banter a lot just because it's funny. But in all seriousness, I respect her abilities Aww. immensely. Because I wouldn't be here in front of you. I wouldn't have a chance to spread the, the message of kindness and compassion and um, supporting the arts and the artists. If it wasn't for her, I, I wouldn't be able to do this without you. I wouldn't oh. be able to do this without you at all. I love you. I love you too, babe. So, yeah, this is fun. Welcome, Jiraj Jamal and Coming around your Matt Bubeler. <laughs> and Atelier. Idine Reich. That's kind of fun. <clears throat> and as this dries, the characteristics will change and evolve, and I will be going back into things to readdress them. But I'm still using some of the same techniques you've seen me before, a palette knife, which is this dustpan, in which case. Some of you that are just joining me, we're using uh, kids' tools, um, kids' play... Uh, cleaning toys. Cleaning toys from Lissa and Doug. Again, not sponsored by anybody, but we consider it. And so it's been a lot of fun just using, this is the stand for it I was using earlier. It's hilarious. I, I think it's a, a real hoot, actually. <laughs> I, I don't really deliberately do that to her. Really? No. <laughs> really don't. It's just, I see a spot, it needs a spot, it needs something. Great to see the process. Appreciate it's a normally private space, but while opening up, whether an artist or musician like me has been scary, I yeah. think it's a positive aspect of this weird time, so thank you. Oh, thank you for those kind words. It is a weird time. Well, and performance is all virtual now, right? NFTs. Not for teasing? No, NFTs. Anybody on Twitch is going to know what I'm talking about. I can barely keep up with my basics, you know. I really want to do something. I'm not keen on this yellow over here necessarily. So I'm looking at it trying to figure that out. And so and this is process. We were talking about process a minute ago. what I'm talking about. Yeah. I am looking forward to getting into NFTs this spring, actually. All right. I broke it. Now we're talking about creativity when you break your stuff. This is a chalk, in case anybody's wondering. I'm using it up quickly on this piece. People were asking me about permanence the other day, and the thing is, once you seal it uh, with a fixative, and then you go back into it with, um, uh, I can't even reach the corner. I guess we're gonna have a quiet corner over there, which you need some quiet spots to, for your eye to have a break, right? And I can't reach it, so it's kind of <laughs> I can't. Master, I don't think you thought this through. <laughs> I have a big head and tiny arms. Big head and tiny arms. <laughs> Use the core. Engage the core. right off into the other spot. I don't like that spot though. Did you know your hands are a tool? Oh, they had it right when you're in school. 
and they, we're teaching finger painting. So there's a faint landscape thing going on. It's a really kind of a very gestural this whole process. And but I still am adding structure, you know, certain things, reeds and things can add structure. The the look of um, buildings you'll see in a lot of my work too. Uh, that's lovely. Come here for a hug, baby. I'm not coming anywhere near that. Uh, so, and that's why some of these squared off areas start to show up in my work too, because I'm interested in man nature kind of connections. Especially right now. So many of you are actually pretty cooped up still, I think. A lot of people are. And getting outside is so important. And we're very, very blessed where we are in northern Michigan because we can get out pretty easily. I mean, we can just go right here where we are. And we are very cognizant of that fact. And you, a lot of you, I know, struggle with being able to be outside. And I think we really, yeah, and we really are grateful. Yeah, hey, Project Impressions, go ahead and uh, DM us about that, because music is a big part of the reels that I do and whatnot, and I've been trying to figure out how to NFT with music that I don't own, so good idea. It's really not marking in there as much as I want. Come on, get in there. <laughs> <laughs> it's not black enough. It's not working. So now we're kind of subtractive when you start removing paint. It's a subtractive part of the process. It's actually pretty warm in here when you're working out. I'm actually not in four layers today. It's warm enough for me to just be warmed enough. up into 30s Fahrenheit today already, where we've been in single digits for quite some time. You know, mid-century art is certainly an influence, abstract expressionism on my work, and I think you really start to see that on a day like this, where there's a lot of gestural action happening. Hans Hoffman, guys like that, real big influences on me. De Kooning is another one. Uh, Franz Klein for some of the line work. All classics. My mom, since her thing was mid-century. So that's one reason I kind of let the paint set up a little so that I can get the chalk through it and start to blend and create uh, some depth, some appearance of depth by the contrast of the chalk. And you know, some of this, like this area here that's still raw, I'm probably going to leave it. I might just leave it alone. See more of our work, uh, check us out on Instagram, YouTube, we're on Twitch, we're on Twitter, we're on TikTok. TikTok, we're on, I don't know, you can link, I think, to everything through our website, davidaustingallery.com. I'm clearly David Austin. Yeah, this is interesting. It's the dynamics of this is really going to change as it um, uh, dries a little more. So uh, I'm really liking, now we're getting, so the early stages are always exciting. Somebody else was talking about this, and I'm sorry, I can't remember who you were. We were talking briefly. Uh, the last two days but the early stages are really fun and exciting and and very and, and it's very rewarding but then do you push it further than that and how much further than do you push it in in the process of pushing it are you losing the value of that piece when you did it and sometimes you do but you can't be fearful that's why we say hashtag create without fear you got to just do something and see if it works for you it might not but You'll never be able to grow as an artist or even as a person if you don't occasionally push yourself. Okay? You got that? That's why I'm on a, I'm on a stool. I just had a flashback to some preacher, you know, talking in front. 
out on the stool out on the side of the road. I think so. Sorry about that. The crazy guy in the corner? Crazy guy out there. In the, I mean, although maybe they're the same ones. Yeah, maybe I should just start selling these sweaters as studio they're wear fun. because you can never tell that they've been painted on. You that? You don't know? They'll never know. <laughs> Isn't that the... the Who's going to know? Nobody's going to know. Who's going to know? Who's going to know? What's exciting is when, when the weather changes the rest of the way, we'll do this outdoors. We'll go out by the pond and in the gardens and we'll, we'll create out there together, okay? So we'll do some really crazy stuff out there. Some plein air. Some plein, plein air. Plein air. Plein air. So I'll probably get, I'll get our loader out and I'll throw some cans on some big stuff and drive over it. Wouldn't right. that be kind of fun? Yeah. I got a bunch of oil paint left out. I still have a bunch of it, Kristen, even after dumping all that. I know you like this playlist, but I'm going to sleep. I know. I'm I have got to change. This. I, I don't like this. I'm changing. I'm <laughs> nope. Nobody nope. 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 <laughs> I'm changing. I'm fine. I'm going to have a cup of coffee. Okay. Still coffee time in our neck of the woods. It's not scotchy scotch time. Oh, thank God it has a beat. <laughs> I almost did the spit take on my thing. I'm actually really enjoying this now. Oh, it's a really neat piece. I think we might do this more often. Not too long ago, we did not have the room to do this. Yeah. I gutted this room. I rearranged it dramatically so that I could work larger. And one of the reasons is I have a 15 foot long piece that I'm working on. It's on paper. So what I do, I can only do a section at a time. I unroll it. It's on a big giant roll. It's actually wider. It's 52 inches wider, which is wider than this. I unroll a section, paint the section, dry it, and then roll it out and do the next section. It's <laughs> taking a very long time. I'm only a quarter of the third of the way through. So I'm not really going to be able to finish that piece until I can get it outdoors on a nice day and look at it as a whole. I can't see it as a whole now, so we don't have that much space. Thanks, Toby. Yeah, create without fear. It's a very underused hashtag, so if all of our followers start using it, we can, we can kind of dominate that as a group and spread. Spread kindness, too, while you're at it. Contagious. You know, I didn't like that, but I'm, what I did here kind of brought that together. So this becomes part of a figure within the ground, okay? And and when this dries, it's going to change the sheen and the, and the appearance of this quite a bit. And I'll probably come back in with uh, Posca markers, with some pencil, um, maybe some paint sticks, maybe some of our new supplies if it's ready. And 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 come in and, and work on this piece some more. I'm going to come over so you guys can get a view from his perspective. That's yeah, come on back here. I'll let you. I won't do anything crazy right now. I'm, I'm looking at it, trying to decide my next move. All right, guys. I can't zoom or anything with Instagram, so I can't see what my camera can handle. This is making me want to dance. I got a little Latin thing going exactly. on. Exactly. <laughs> it's a sleepy cello. There's a time and place for cello. Saturday morning is not. Sometimes you gotta just calm down. That's why I've been listening to it lately. Although some of that cello music is very dramatic. I'm liking, I'm liking this. Does it look a lot different on this side, Kristen, from where you were standing? Yes, it does. Before you were like, God, it looks terrible. No. Now you're like, oh, it's, it's okay. I just couldn't see the detail. <laughs> All right, let's do this. I need more coffee. Look at this number. Just, I don't know, this is my third, I guess. Oh, yes, and Jazzy saxophone. <laughs> So some of you may notice behind me the big painting that I usually have that I'm working on. I had to take down because I didn't want to mess it up. I'm a, I finished five of the 80 inch paintings, three foot by 80 inch, and they're in the next room in storage. And then I have one more which is over there that is in process. That's basically first layer there. And uh, so that's the next one I'm working on. And that'll give me a, a series of six. And I'm, I'm looking for an exhibition for that to happen when uh, you know exhibitions are allowed again. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm having a hard time figuring out where to go from here. If anybody has any questions, yeah, anybody want to chat? Shoot, shoot at us here. I, I see what time see, is it? We've got something. at least 15 minutes. If anybody has you any know, questions, the problem is, you know, you know how I usually I, I finish up by doing a quick impromptu piece on a piece of paper, uh, but I really don't have any paper to work on right now. Oh yeah. <laughs> I don't even know what they're saying. Don't. <laughs> She's dancing. 
dancing. Now, now the camera's dancing. Hold still, you. <laughs> All the time. Only because they can't see it sometimes. We only lost half of our viewers. Well, I'm not painting as much as I was a minute ago either. It doesn't help, I'm sure. How do you finish your paper paintings? Well, I use a fixative, um, for starters, and then I'll varnish if I'm truly done with it. And then, um, as far as actually mounting them, one of a couple things happens. Either I send them to the gallery, we, our gallery, ARDT, gallery in the Hamptons, will mount them in a, in a frame and do a very traditional mounting process. If I have them here, I mount them on a piece of quarter inch board a lot of times using a, a medium, a heavy, heavy medium, heavy medium. I had so much trouble focusing today. I ran out of stuff that I used to my medications. Yay, uh, delivery system right now out there. Uh, anyway, uh, or I put them on foam core and then I can mount them in a frame at that point. So that should answer the question, I hope. That's kind of just a little bit of, just a hint of the, I'm always paranoid now getting on here. Um, using just a little hint of the pink. It's kind of a fleshy, pale pink. Just to add a little bit of interest in the middle there, but I, I don't necessarily want to overdo it either. Are you located in Austin? No, it's just our last name. <laughs> we are in northern Michigan, and usually I would show you snow to show you where we are, but you guys have snow too. Is that Norway? No. Oh. T Texas. Oh boy. Hi guys in Texas. My watch is like, you haven't moved enough. <laughs> Clearly they're not watching the video. The watch, that is. Yeah. Yes, uh, the preferred paper is a 140 pound hot press cotton rag. Very important. If you're in the U.S., it's 100% cotton. If you're in the rest of the world, it's 300 gram cotton rag. Hey, mail's here. Oh no, now I've got blue in my head. <laughs> <laughs> you're welcome. I don't want to do that, but I'm tempted to do that. I'm not going to. Uh... I really like this line here that happened when I used that other piece, and so I wanted to I want to leave that. You know. Chelsea says she likes this color palette. You know, I, I, I have to tell you, Chelsea, I was really had a hard time, because it's easy to take every single color you have, <laughs> but you have to have a few predominant ones and, and just uh, stick with it, right? Otherwise, it can get just so chaotic. But at the same time, some of those are working. But lately, I've been drawn to trying to make a, a, a calmer uh, project. So I like to have a lot of stuff going on in there, but I'm trying to quiet the palette just a little bit. I need just a little bit of calm in the palette. Um, it's just too, it's too much. And so usually, I'll try to limit my main colors to three. Uh, and then maybe uh, one or two accent colors, which is what we did here today. And I still have the chalk, clearly, and um, working with that, the black is an accent because, you know, it's my graphic design stuff from way back when. Well, that's nice and black over there, isn't it? Oh, look at that nice black one. Nice and dark. Was I answering a question? Did that question get, get there? I don't know. I'm trying to keep you in frame on three cameras, you. It's impossible. I'm everywhere. Oh dear. Hey, if you can't be silly. Oh, oh, wrong camera. I can't reach that spot. I'm coming around. Forewarned. I'm going to make a mark over here. I'm going to have to draw it back towards me, though, to get the same feel as this one. Oh, it didn't do it. Oh, no! Disaster! It's going to have to dry, and before I can do that, mark better. Ah. You lose some spontaneity when you got to work like that. 
Anybody have any questions or anything they want to chit chat about? All two of you that are left. Or are we just too annoying today? <laughs> it could be. I did warn everybody. I, I spent a week doing super fine detail on all the art. And I said I needed a day of crazy create time. Still doesn't want to mark it, does it? Is that a special chalk? It is from the general. So uh, I guess it kind of is. I guess gotta be more aggressive to it. There we go. There, that's better. Yeah, it's one of the pricier tools in here, actually. Yeah, it's uh, what is it, fifty bucks a stick? Thirty-five to forty. They're depending huge. They're on big. You get them. It's a big charcoal piece, and I love it. The problem is, if you get uh, your paint on it, it really makes it hard. It makes sure you guys it. get the charcoal and not the graphite, because they yeah. sell both versions. Uh, we use acrylic paints around here. This, this particular day is dominated by an acrylic latex, and um, I really like a lot of different material, but I don't have the room. Like, I, want, I would like to play with um, water-based oils, because the fumes, we have to be careful with the fumes, because the studio is connected to the house, and you know, I don't want anybody to get sick from fumes, especially myself. Oh, something happened to the ceiling camera. Uh-oh. It's okay. It's, it's gone. No, it's just it moved somehow, and now uh, I can see mostly floor. Don't worry about it. I just do this. We used to have that? one camera the rest of the time. I've already oh. adjusted. Oh. Sorry, guys. What brand? Anything we can get our paws on? <laughs> She's right. Um, Not too particular, just be, I, I think given the, the financial, we might be more picky. I don't know. Um, I like golden paints. I like Liquitex. Um, I've been using a lot more of Windsor Newton's Galleria line uh, because my mom was using and she had quite a bit left over. And I decided that I was going to use it to kind of honor her, besides its you know, material. So when she passed, I ended up using quite a bit of her stuff, and I've stuck with it. Yes, I am his wife. All day today. <laughs> Unless she gets really mad at me, then she might. She might oh, I don't get out. mad. She's gonna. Then she gets even. No, I'm just, <laughs> just kidding. He's, he's out of control, I say. I'm gonna, can I come over there again, or are you getting tired of me being on your side? You can come over. I'll just... You take my really handy paintbrush here. Well, that's actually filled up nicely. Not the most uh, absorbent of paintbrushes to use, but. Uh, this is, what kind of plywood is this? Is this birch finish? This is a birch. It, it, it's called AC. Um, it's a high, it's a highly finished birch plywood. And it is a um, quarter inch. So it's not a real thick, Piece. and it'll stay pretty stable. It might warp a little bit, but it's a good quality birch. I have not painted 